hello everyone so we are going to look at uh, uh, code labs so code labs uh, is a google developers google uh, clouds offering and it allows you to provide to um, do some hands on coding um, on google cloud itself so google cloud i think everyone knows uh, is a offering where you can run your applications uh, in the cloud environment and those are accessible to everyone so we are going to review uh, google's code labs we are going to run few of the code labs tutorials um, in few sessions after this and at the end of all those code labs we are going to um, give our uh, opinion about what we felt or how did we learn anything good out of uh, google score labs okay so um, i'm a java spring boot developer so from the code labs i'm going to pick uh, the uh, those those uh, labs which i'm familiar with so let's talk about spring boot so this spring boot on google cloud is something i'm familiar with so i'm going to do only these uh, code labs okay uh, so out of all these so as soon as I select on uh, Spring Boot on Google Cloud only those uh, Those code labs come up here on the right hand side and out of these I can pick any one of them Okay, so to start with I know there are many but uh, I, I Today I'm going to talk about uh, deploying a Spring Boot uh, Java app to Kubernetes on Google Kubernetes engine so this is uh, this is something um, I feel would be good to start with. There are others as well, but uh, Google Kubernetes engine, like any Kubernetes engine, is good to know, along with uh, along with knowing a Spring Boot uh, or Java application details. But uh, Kubernetes, learning a Kubernetes engine is also good skill to have. So I'm going to use this tutorial as a code lab. Okay so uh, i'm going to close this tab and go back to the first to the tab that i had already opened okay i had already decided that we will go with uh, this tutorial today because this resonates with me more so what is this lab about uh, this lab is about deploying a spring boot java app to kubernetes on google kubernetes engine like we said this code lab was last updated on april 18 2023 so pretty recent this is and this lab is written all all these details are written by a googler written by a googler means their own employee has google's their own employee has written this so we can trust the source so so uh, there are almost let's see there are almost 12 steps to finish this code lab the first step is uh, the knowledge one like before you begin what all things you need to know so the first one it is saying the first step it is saying that what is kubernetes it is telling us what is kubernetes so kubernetes is a open source project and it can run in many different google itself had uh, you uh, used or developed kubernetes uh, initially and they had made it uh, open source so kubernetes is an open source project and it can run in many different environments it can run from laptops to high availability multi-node clusters uh, from public clouds to on-premises development so using kubernetes you can deploy your applications on uh, on on-premise deployments as well so all of this information is something that you need to know just before you begin the code lab and that's why they have included that this as a first step okay so uh, in this code lab what what we'll do is you'll deploy a simple spring boot java web app to kubernetes on gke with the goal being for you to run your web app as a replicated app on kubernetes you'll take code that you develop on your machine turn it into a docker container image and run the image on gke so uh, we, we are going to have a Spring Boot application uh, turn it into a Docker container image. So what is a Docker container image? It's a standalone container inside which you can have different layers of um, of application like you can have a Java version and on top of that you can have your own application version. So we will develop a Docker container image and then run that 
docker container image on a gke so container orchestration will be provided by gke which is google kubernetes engine you'll use gke a fully managed kubernetes service on google cloud to allow you to focus more on experiencing kubernetes rather than setting up the underlying infrastructure uh, we are not going to look at uh, setting up the underlying infrastructure we are just going to understand um, understand deploying our application using gke which allows us to not look at the infrastructure just look at the development part of a part of it development and deployment part of it so if you're interested in running kubernetes on your local machine such as development laptop then look into minikube so you can use minikube as well to run kubernetes on your local machine i'm sure there are many uh, tutorials available on youtube you can just go through them uh, but so, and they are also saying that uh, Minikube offers a simple setup of single node Kubernetes sluts cluster for development and testing purposes. And you can also use Minikube to go through the code lab if you wish. So we are not going to use Minikube. We are just going to do what this code lab is suggesting us to do. The code lab will use the sample code from the guide about building an app with Spring Boot. So building an application with uh, once i click on that link it is giving me a spring uh, url where it is telling me about building an application with spring boot so they this page is talking about developing a simple web application hello controller with a controller in it hello controller uh, and what they have done is this application itself they have committed into git and we are going to deploy this application itself onto a gk cluster okay so this code we are going to use that's what they are trying to say okay here uh, prerequisites for this code lab is you need to un uh, be familiar with java programming language and language and tools so everyone who does not understand the basic java programming language and its tools uh, this is not for you you need to have knowledge of standard linux text editor such as vim okay what you will do in this course is you will package a simple java app as docker container this java application that we have written using this website they have only written it they have committed it to github so we'll just package this java application as a docker container uh, they, they are going to we are going to create our own kubernetes cluster on gke Deploy our Java app to Kubernetes on GKE. Scale up your services so that if what do you mean by scale up is if multiple requests are coming, you need you you will be able to increase the number of uh, number of instances of application. So, so you'll be able to scale up your service. Then access dashboard a web based Kubernetes user interface. We'll go through all the steps one by one. But here they are trying to give you a brief detail of what, what all things you're going to do. And what you'll need is a Google Cloud project. That means a Google Cloud account, essentially. And a browser such as Google Chrome. So uh, Google Chrome is their Chrome is their own browser. So they are talking about Google Chrome. Uh, but in reality, you can use any browser. Okay. So let us... Uh, let us start with uh, with after knowing all that you need to know before you begin this code lab let us start with the second step which is setup and requirements <laughs> 